Hey guys, Sean Little with River Trail Tactical uh, out here at the range. Uh, still working on this. Uh, getting a lot of the uh, trees cleared and tomorrow the uh, skid steer shows up. So renting a skid steer for a week um, to get everything leveled out. Um, trying to clear the uh, shooting areas. Got a little fancy out here. Got my handy dandy chainsaw and I'm trying to get everything cleared up so that um, I can uh, get some ranges for them. So the uh, skid steer is going to help me level everything and get the pistol range leveled out and then fix the roads and the entryway. The entryway has got a big divot, so i got to fix that too. So um, anyways, let me uh, show you what I've got done and uh, then we'll, uh, we'll see how tomorrow goes. All right, so around the cabin I've got some uh, landscapers tarp down around the grass down. I'm going to put a couple more layers of this so it'll be two layers going out and then on the back side I'll do the same thing with gravel. I used pavers uh, when I got my truck stuck uh, which didn't really help me but now the pavers are being used for the uh, front entryway. Uh, that big box is going to go in the garbage and uh, the cabin still needs to be cleaned out a little bit. Did a lot of mowing. Uh, mowed all the way around over here and then cleared pistol range. All right, so this is gonna be the pistol range. I'm gonna use the uh, skid steer to get this level. So it'll be leveled out and sloped. And then I'll put in French drain type stuff so that I have good drainage on this. A bunch of gravel, trees. I cleared a few trees on this lane here. As you can tell, there's some like big divots right here. dead one over there and I uh, got all that cut and cleared and I'll use the skid steer and move all this stuff out and I might be able to use the skid steer just to knock that dead one down over there um, and then I'll start forming up berms right here so this whole uh, this whole thing right here going across will be a berm get that berm formed this is kind of low wetland um, it's real squishy um, watery kind of mud I don't know if you guys can see that but it's uh, real wet, so I'll level everything out so I can get rid of some of this wetness and uh, level all this out and make the pistol range. And this lane right here, I'm going back to that small little gap. Small little gap right there. Um, it's going to be the carving range. Some of these cedars will get cleared out and uh, make it a little bit wider. flat it kind of dips down here in the middle where these two cones are um, I still got to get some of these trees cleared my um, and I got to get this bushel of trees cleared this is going to be my long range lane Went all the way back and I don't know if you guys can see but there is a target right there Up in between those two uh, fans up there at that small little opening at the top of the hill line up there that's about 550 yards to the top of there and then this lane over here is going to get turned into the 100 yard range so the 100 yard side of the range is going to be at an angle going across right, and it's going to go in between those small trees right at the end down there is where the 100 yard target is going to be. So you have a side end, long range, carbine range, and a pistol range. And then my last project will be my 600 yard uh, paper or electronic target range 
on the far east side of the property. And the skid steer is here. This thing is gonna be badass. <laughs> All right, well, as my my uh, state of luck would always have it, uh, the guy got the uh, skid steer out here, and just by my mere presence, I broke it. Um, couldn't even get it off the truck. The control panel wouldn't read anything. Showed zero fuel, and that uh, there wasn't any hours on it, and uh, couldn't get any of the controls to work. So, uh, so yeah, he had to take it back and uh, get me another one. So he'll be back in a couple hours with a different skid steer. And, uh, and I told him I didn't have bad luck. I wouldn't have any luck at all. It's not necessarily true. I mean, I know that. So if I thought that, if I really thought that, I wouldn't be staying here with a smile on my face, giggling. Um, but uh, yeah, so he drove from, of course, can't get all the way out here. Um, went to the wrong side of town, had to get him on uh, with a pin drop. And, uh, you know, because uh, it's it's just a rural property. It doesn't have an address. But uh, yeah, so... Um, so we'll see if another skid steer shows up and uh, then we get started. So losing a couple hours on the skid steer, but no big deal. And uh, very well, carry on. All right, so round two of the, uh, <laughs> of the skid steer. So I finally got it here. And uh, so we're gonna go down and start, uh, well, we're probably gonna go over here, start leveling over here on the long range. And then I'll work on the pistol range. I might go see how much I can scoop at the pistol range, but I uh, kind of want to get the long range area kind of leveled out a little bit and uh, start working on that and see how much I can get done today with that. All right, so this is the long range area and uh, there was a big divot, big, big divot over there I had to fill in. So I'm basically, this was high over here. So I pulled dirt from over here, well, caliche, and uh, put it over there to fill in that dead space. Right off will still be in that direction but um, what I plan on doing is uh, putting down some uh, French drain type stuff so that uh, my rock, I'm going to get rock and uh, rock dust put in here for a pad and I'll set a sea container on top of it and my big uh, issue is I'm not sure what I'm going to do with the 100 yard area over there. That area over there it's kind of an elevated place and it's got a, a tiny little strip of a pond on it. Um, I'll show you that tomorrow, but um, this is getting leveled out real nice. And uh, this caliche is really hard to get a bite. Uh, the skid steer is doing a great job, but I'm, I'm having a hard time finding the right angle to get the, get the proper bite. Sometimes I'm, I think I'm being a little too cautious with it, but we'll see how I do tomorrow. Um, I just don't want to make big holes and divots. They're hard to fill in. Uh, still got a little work to fill in this area over here, but I uh, should be able to do that tomorrow and get it all finished up. And then start working on the pistol area over there. Total mess. So, all right, more for tomorrow. And the skid steer.